microphone test. Okay, goodbye. Hey guys, welcome to this P.O. Box unboxing video for the month of January. I hope you are well. I'm also announcing a few new cosplays at the end of this video, so stick around. I accidentally dressed like an avocado today, so I have my new avocado earrings from my previous vlog. And then I was like, let's do some avocado makeup, so now I have an avocado wardrobe. Without further ado, I'm just gonna jump straight into the unboxing. So first thing is from most likely Michael. I can tell by the packaging it comes in. What would happen if I popped this? <gasps> it was louder than I expected. Okay, so this is from Michael V from Facebook and it reads, Howdy Laura, don't eat him, you will make the Jedi cry. So it has to be Star Wars related. It might be a Porg. Oh my gosh, it is a Porg! Oh, it's a Porg Pop! I love him! Thank you so much, Michael. I'm gonna put that on my shelf now, except I'm in my pajama shorts, which is embarrassing. That's Steve! Thank you so much for my Porg, Michael. He looks amazing on my shelf. Next thing is from, I can't show it on screen because they wrote their return address, but it literally says unknown sender. I got a little box. This is from Zara. Hi Laura, me again. You may remember me from your October unboxing video. If not, then hello again. Well, hello again, my friend. I just wanted to thank you for being such a legend. I know we barely know each other, but I'm so proud of you. You are such an inspiration and it is because of you that I want to improve my cosplays and save up for a Comic-Con. Awesome. Anyway, well done for cutting your hair. It looks great and is proof of what a lovely person you are. Aww, making me blush. I hope you like what I got for you. It reminded me so much of you I couldn't resist buying it. Bye from Zara. Thank you so much, Zara. <gasps> oh, so cute. It's Charmander and a burger. I love it. Charmander is my favorite starter, like, ever. So thank you. Oh my gosh, I love it. Oh, it's so cute. Look at my little burger. I love him. Ah, I love him. There's other stuff in here as well. Zara's also put in a really, really cute little letter. Wine Laura is amazing, smart, thoughtful, considerate, kind, funny, confident, but most importantly, never gives up. That's it, never give up. Oh my gosh, sorry, you might have seen my armpit. That's gross, okay, bye. Keep up the good work and remember, cosplayers do it best. Yeah. And look, there's Steve. On your Steve. Zara has also done her own little work of the Batman logo. And at the top, it's got a quote from the Dark Knight. And it's just really awesome. So thank you so much for your lovely little box of gifts, Zara. Absolute pleasure. And one day I would love to meet you. Next thing is from Jake in New South Wales. Dear Laura, hi, I am Jake, that vibe guy from Oz Comic Con. Ever since then, I've started doing more for my cosplay page, which is super DC cosplay on Instagram, by the way. I follow you. I've started working on Kylo Ren and Negan. Yeah, which are going well, I think. Over the last few months, I've been having a hard time, but yours and Chris's videos have helped me whenever I watch you guys. You always make me feel better, and I look forward to watching new videos when they are released. That's what our videos are here for, guys, is for you to watch them and enjoy them and, you know, just help you, I guess. You guys and a few others help me find what I like doing so much that I even my dad is going to try cosplaying. Your new hair is amazing. It matches the person you are. And thank you for being so nice to me at Oz Comic Con. I hope to see you at Melbourne Supernova. And if not, I hope to see you at Sydney Convention. I will definitely be at all the Sydney conventions, but I don't know about Melbourne so far and I will be at Gold Coast Supernova. So Jake has put in a few photos. This is one of us at Sydney Comic Con last year looking awesome. And he's also done a few edits of Chris and I as Pirate Catwoman and Pirate Batman. That is so cute. And also the one of us on the boat. That's unreal. So glad to hear that all your cosplaying is going so well, Jake, and I'll definitely see you at a convention soon. Thank you so much. Next thing is from hidden under a sticker and I can't read it properly, so I'm going to have to find out. Ah, it's Carmen. Hi, Laura, it's Carmen from Farmington. I wrote to you a while back in June. 
I went and saw Gorillaz in September. Oh my gosh, I've been listening to the Gorillaz non-stop, funnily enough. What are your favorite songs off Demon Days? My favorite song off the whole album is Every Planet We Reach Is Dead. 100%, that's my favorite song from the album, and the album is my favorite album. Stop it. Carmen goes on to write, mine are Every Planet We Reach Is Dead and Feel Good Incorporated. That's cool, we got the same taste. Your short hair looks awesome. I used to have short hair too. Short hair for the win. December was my birthday. Happy birthday for December. I'm now 11. 11 was a good year for me. I also liked how it was a palindrome, so it was like one, one. My spare time usually consists of listening to records. Do you watch Bob's Burgers? I do, but I haven't watched it in ages. It is a really funny show. I love you so much. You inspire so many people. I love how you support the LGBTQI community. It is important to love people no matter what. Love from Carmen. P.S. You can show the pics on camera. P.P.S. Congrats on you and Chris. Oh, Carmen, what a lovely letter. Thank you so much. Carmen has also put in photos of her with her Gorillaz albums. That's a really cute Polaroid photo. And with the little hair ties, that's so cute. Carmen, thank you so much for your kind letter. So good to hear from you again, and I'm very jealous about the Gorillaz concert, awesome. Okay guys, that's it for the unboxing part of the video. Now I'm going to talk to you about my future cosplay plans and what I'm doing. Gold Coast Supernova is at the end of April. Chris is going up for the superhero weekend and he'll be Captain America. I will be debuting two cosplays. The first cosplay will be my Captain Marvel. I've commissioned this lovely lady from America to make my suit for me. I'm doing the short haired Captain Marvel version with no mask. I'll put a photo on the screen for you guys. I posted that photo on Instagram, so I kind of announced it already, but just confirming. Gold Coast Supernova, Captain Marvel is the plan. On the Sunday, I would like to debut my punk Harley. I got an overwhelming response for Punk Harley from the selfie I posted the other day. I was just mucking around with makeup and my new 52 choker. So thank you so much for all the support that Punk Harley has gotten. I am going to be doing a Punk Harley YouTube series. I've actually already ordered my Punk Harley boots, which I'll be modifying, and I've already ordered the pants, which I'll be turning into shorts. And the first official episode of this series I'll be filming on Saturday. Chris and I are going to Paddy's Markets in the city to look for Punk Harley stuff. I am so excited about this because it means I don't have to wear a wig, I can use my short hair and really make it work for me for both cosplayers. That's coming up in April, those two cosplayers. I've got Dr. Harleen Quinzel and Debbie from The Wild Thornberries going at the same time. They're quite easy in nature, so I should be able to get them done relatively soon. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. Thank you so much for watching as always. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next video. I said video like 50 times. Okay, I love you, we go, bye, bye. Um, la la la. Nee. scissors. And I'm falling off the screen because I got an itchy foot. <laughs>